we are going to debate the proposition the golden age for multinationals in China is over. And um, in addition to having a, a serious debate about it, we're also going to have a little bit of fun. I want this to be very interactive, um, and we're going to ask you all to vote before the speakers make their uh, positions known, and we'll ask you to vote once again afterward to see how the needle has moved. Arguing in uh, favor of the motion, to my left, you're right, and Stevenson Yang. Are we uh, switched? Yes, OK. We need to switch are around. We, uh, oh, we there we go. Are we switching right. our opinions? No, no, no. We want to stay steadfast in your opposition <laughs> uh, or support for the motion. There we go. Now we got the placards right. Uh, the people are always right, of course. Uh, to my right, Anne Stevenson Yang, co founder and research director of J Capital Research, and uh, on, uh, arguing against Haiyan Wang, managing partner at the China India Institute. Please give them a round of welcome, uh, a round of applause to welcome them. Uh, let me say that I honestly and rationally believe that the golden age for multinationals in China is not over. I look at this from three levels. First, at the country level. At the country level, yes, China's economy is slowing down, but at 7, 6%, it is still growing as the fastest or one of the two fastest growing economies, two to three times the pace of developed economies. Uh, look at the scale. So a 6, 7% of growth of a 10 trillion economy is a much bigger market size, market opportunity than say a 10% of a 2 trillion dollar economy. So over the next 10 years, the market opportunity is much bigger than the last 10 years. At the second level, at the industry level, I believe that more sectors, a lot of sectors will be growing at a faster pace than the GDP growth. Take for example, service sector at 46% of the GDP is very low. B2C services with rising income, urbanization such as childcare, elder care, healthcare, e-commerce are expected to grow at double digit rate. And look at the B2B services. A lot of you provide accounting, marketing, management, consulting services. As Chinese companies go global, go public, they will need your services. Green growth. If you have products, if you have technology, if you have sales solutions, you are wanted now. Now, let me look at the company level. At the company level, I believe that multinational companies today are far better positioned to capture the growing opportunities. One, after having been in China for decades, they have built local capacity, local infrastructure, local, local a team, and more importantly, the right mindset to serve the Chinese market. Multinational companies, they are not only becoming more Chinese, at the same time, they are very global. So they can leverage the global capabilities to drive local penetration and then feed the local capacity into the global network. I would say that one window is closed, another door is open. Maybe some golden eggs have already been easily picked, but a lot more gold mines await for exploration. The golden age of China is absolutely not over. All right. Very good. So you quoted the, the MGM's uh, survey report, and I have this report right here. Let me quote a few. 71% of the companies surveyed reported revenue growth. 73% of the foreign companies surveyed reported that they are increasing their investment in China. 71% reported increase of profit. And most importantly, when they uh, take an outlook for the future, they say, majority of them said, we are very confident about the future in China. So I think that, and you painted a more gloomy picture than what the reality is. And you can go by sectors by sectors. Look at the auto sector. One third of the profit, global auto industry profit is made in China. And you ask Honeywell, you ask uh, GE or PNG or, or Amazon, or, and, and China is the market that multinational companies must be in to win the global game. Let me counter argue a few points you mentioned. When you are arguing about anti-monopoly cases in your opening statement, you see all governments are very vigilant about antitrust cases. I think that some of the international law firms argue that China, the fact that China now has the anti-monopoly law is taking China into the modern era of 
antitrust and competition law and looking at the a judicial reform plan for the next five years, China is moving towards a more openness, more independence, more transparency of a judicial system. As this morning, majority of you voted yes when asked, are you positive about the direction that China is moving to? So we are optimistic about China, not just today and also tomorrow. In the past, China has rolled out the red carpet for foreign foreign companies. Yes, back when China was a $1 trillion company, it was a different environment. So stop lamenting about, you know, who moved my cheese or who moved my red carpet. And I would say that the old carpets leading to the old entrances were already worn out. Most of the multinational companies are already here at home. And uh, there are still carpets out there, but just at different doors. And if you go find them, they are, they are there. Or the, the road has been already paved. So who needs the red carpet? We'll have to leave it there. OK, thank you for your rebuttal. Um, aren't Chinese companies getting much more competitive and therefore squeezing margins and making life more difficult for multinationals? Yes, of course, Chinese companies are becoming more competitive. You expect them to be more competitive, to expect otherwise would be, would be naive. But you know, competition was always there, anywhere. It will always be there. Who is afraid of competition? The good, competitive Chinese companies could be our customers, could be our customers' customers, could be our partners. And, and uh, looking at the future environment, whether it's making the field more level playing, whether it's opening more sectors to foreign, foreign companies, whether it's to govern more by rules of law, whether to increase the tax uh, you know, for polluting the environment, you look at each and every of these reform measures, I would say that they are making the life for the Chinese companies tougher. I would say actually the golden days for state-owned enterprises are over but not for multinational companies. OK. Um, that brings us to the close of the open portion. I'm going to give each of my debaters two minutes to make their uh, closing remarks, then we'll do the vote again. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, I would, uh, I would start by saying that China is at a turning point. At any turning point, we must look at the future. We must look at uh, today from the lenses of the future rather than looking at the future from the lenses of uh, yesterday. And even though China is uh, slowing, slowing down, China is still the most promising, promising market. And uh, as we look at tomorrow's landscape, I believe the playing field will become more level. I think the market will play a more dominant role. And as these changes happen, multinationals will find China more enticing or a, still an enormous prize, using your word, VJ, uh, to, to get. And uh, sometimes, you know, it may feel that the pace is slow. I would say that two steps forward, one step backward is still one step forward. So, so that is still, you know, a promising uh, outlook. And also strategically, with each passing day, China is becoming more like a home market to multinational companies. And with each passing day, China is also becoming more central as a global platform. And, uh, and uh, home may have some flaws, but it never loses its golden allure. And I would, say, and I would say that in the new era, those multinational companies who play by the old book, who go by the old way of doing things, may indeed retreat back into the Bronze Age. But those who embrace the downing of a new era will harvest a lot more golden fruit. Gold rush may be over, but not golden days. All right, very good. Thank you both. Give them both a round of applause. Uh, how many people vote uh, in favor of the motion? Yes, the golden age for multinationals is over. Hands up, hands up high. Let's see them. And make some noise. I want to see the, the yes fit. All right. OK, uh, let's, see the, let's put those down for now. Let's see, the, let's see the nose. The nose up. And make some noise as well. Yay! All right. The, the nose have it. Let me give a, a round of applause for our winner today. But also, congratulations to both. I think you'll agree that this is a, a hard fought and very lively and informative debate. Thank you both Thank very you. much.